Hold on, silence the phone. Professionalism. What's up? Thank you. Thank you for silence. You're going to silence your phone? <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. We're, we're live. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um, thank you for performing, guys. I really appreciate it. Of course. Appreciate both of you guys. I've been a long, fan for a very long time. Known you guys for a while, too. Um, yeah, these are, this is the year of the Ox. They had a great performance right now. And um, I'm going to let... I'm gonna let both these guys introduce uh, introduce themselves. Wait, so do do the do the ox sound properly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, my name is Lyrics Wrigley. I go, I go by JL, and John. we are the year the ox man. Yeah, I'm from Virginia, baby. So I need to know the uh, the origin story of Year the Ox. Like, how did this? Is this like a question that gets asked a lot, or it does get asked often? All right, let's try to say it in a different way, bro. Dramatically. For the pop Do you shop mean audience. the first time that we met or the first <laughs> time that we became a duo? Both. Okay. First time that we met, it was at a house party. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was, that was when I was drinking heavily in college. Oh, yeah. I think I was a freshman in college. And um, I was in the, the kitchen and I was taking, this is what he says. I, I don't remember this. Yeah, because you're blacked out. Because I was bro. blacked out. Yeah, there's witnesses. I could, I could. Tell them what happened. What did I do? I see this guy walk into this, you know, this little house party in Centerville, Virginia. And then I go into the kitchen. I see this guy taking a shot of 151. He takes it. He looks at it. So he's drinking it like this. There's no one else in the kitchen. Just him. <laughs> you know what I mean? No I'm cheers. Sure. Yeah, no cheers, nothing. He was just taking a shot of Bacardi 151, the flammable joints. Drinks it, looks at me, he throws up <laughs> in his hand, and he looks at me and puts it back. He said, what's up, bro? That's the first, that's the first Im impression I got of jail. And after that, I was like, bro, we got to make a rap. We got to make a... <laughs> and then we, we freestyled, I think, that night, apparently. Yeah, I, don't even, I didn't even freestyle back then, but yeah, apparently we, we did. <laughs> we freestyled. And then, you know, we, we had similar styles, you know? We yeah, love that. Yeah, yeah. We love that golden age hip-hop sound. And That's what I love about you guys. You guys, like, sound really, like, good together. Like, Thank like you, bro. This, um, it's like rap had harmony. I don't know if mm. that makes sense. Like mm. it, it just it just works really well together. I appreciate, appreciate it, man. that. Appreciate yeah. So I mean, and then years passed. We had a group called the Beautiful Cycle, which was with Manifest mm. back in the gift days, you know. Mm -hmm. Shut up, and man. then uh, when I moved to New York, JL would frequently visit, and then we'd record up there, and we dropped a song called Seven Rings, and that you know did pretty well on the internet. And we're like, we got to do a group together. So that, that was before the group, right? Oh, yeah. Before the group. Seven Rings was, was a great song, by the I way. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, so that, was oh, so that wasn't a year of the Ox song. No. Nah, if you looked on the YouTube at that time, it was lyrics in jail. There was no name. There was no, like, team yet at that time. I it was jail and lyrics. Jail. Mm. My bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. jail and yeah. lyrics. When, 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 my bad, dude. I need a front billing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we actually have, like, some what conversations about at that. least by yeah. age. What's the conversation about? It's like, bro, why is it the lyrics in JL, like, for the third time in a row, bro? Like, you know, I don't remember. And, like, there, there was another, like, alphabetically, you know, the J yeah. goes before the It's like, we have these That's conversations. True. It's just a little compromise. Like a month or two older than him. You guys, yeah. you guys, do you guys just take turns? But we take turns, you know what I mean? For sure. Um, well, what, do you, what have you guys been up to and, and stuff, like, now? Like... Shit, man. I mean, we released the crazy. album oh, yeah. earlier this year, yeah. Year yeah. of the Ox. Um, and since then, you know, we've been just making new music. I, I picked up uh, producing oh. during the pandemic. Now, I learned how to make beats and stuff, so I've been working a lot on that. So we're working on and I've songs. been streaming, man. I'm I've on seen Twitch that too. <laughs> yeah, I've you seen that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. The it's mukbangs cool. and stuff. And yeah. I mean, you know, because of the standstill for a while, you know, yeah, we had yeah, to kind of yeah, like yeah. transition and pivot a little bit. Mm -hmm. So he picked up the new hobby. He's, we're making in-house beats now. That's dope. I'm a, I'm a professional broadcaster now, bro. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. I connect that's, with that's the audience. That's dope you're producing. Oh, that's great because it's kind of like you kind of know what you want anyways, right? For sure. I always kind of pushed it off, but then, like, I didn't. I do have, like, a background in piano when mm. I was younger, and, you know, I played certain instruments, so I felt like, you know, it, it definitely transitioned easily. I got a lot of dope producers around me helping me out mm. and, you know, teaching me the ropes and stuff like that as well. Wait, so you know the, the album, I was like, you guys kind of just dropped it, right? We did a stagger release. So mm. what we did was, um, you know, we were like the attention span. We didn't want to just drop something and then have it be flooded out. So we dropped every week, like a couple songs mm. for three weeks straight. So it was like a elongated 
release. You know what I mean? And it worked out well, man. I see a lot of people taking that process now. Yeah, you. you I was talking to uh, I was talking to James about that. Mm. I like that you guys drop like every week, actually. Yeah, it was cool. It's I like I think that's like because it floods the news feeds. You know, floods what I mean? the news feeds. Uh, it's kind of like what you know the kids are doing now too, where <laughs> yeah. they just drop and stuff. But like, not a lot of rappers can do that. Yeah, thank you, bro. Like they can't. Like it's like you guys can spit and so it's like this is what I'm supposed to be doing right nah, I appreciate it so like I really I really appreciate that as like as a rap fan I like your nerd hat right now bro dang I'm trying oh VA VA baby VA did you do that on purpose or what no I, I didn't but now first of all it's now, go they call it NERD N-E-R-D. let's not call it nerd right <laughs> It's from yeah. Virginia Beach area. It's my area, <laughs> so I like to take. You know, <laughs> right, bro. I, we're from the same state, man. You're from Northern Virginia. Right. Wait, what's the difference? <laughs> oh, there's a di- it's a three hour there difference. A difference? First oh, of yeah, all, there's a huge difference. There's a huge difference. It's black and white. Oh, uh, we're baby. talking Timberland, Pharrell, Missy over here. God, they hear you. You don't need to put the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you know. He picked the mic up. Over yeah, just in case. Talking about Timberland. Nah, right. but yeah, you know, it's, it is what it is. We're all VA. <laughs> Yeah, I'm more towards like the Maryland DC part, you know yeah. what I mean? The northern yeah, yeah, yeah. tip. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He's from the beach. Wale, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um one thing I like that that you guys do really well, and I think it's because you guys are like natural rappers and, and whatnot, like like you said, golden age, right? Mm. Like <clears throat> you guys can speak you guys speak on the whole like this whole like Asian American like hate thing going on and everything, and you guys have been you guys have done, you know, that song um viral. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but like, there's not a lot of people that can do that. They can actually speak articulately, like articulately about. Oh, I can't even say the word. <laughs> they, <laughs> you know, they can. They can. You know, you guys like speak for the people right. in, in music form, and I think that's really important. How do you guys? Did you guys feel like you guys needed to do that, or like, what was the? Viral was honestly like a, it was just an overflow of the heart, man. You know what I mean? That was like right in the beginning when we just start seeing like the shoving and just mm-hmm. kind of like. The xenophobia kicking in. We definitely did feel like we needed to do it. Yeah. Our, our manager, Kirby, actually sent yeah. us a couple of the videos and was like, what do you guys think about this? And, you know, the, the verses kind of wrote, wrote themselves out pretty easily. I mean, Jail and I, our style of music is like we, we write about what we know. You know what I mean? Like we try to keep it sustained, like, you know, mm-hmm. look, about real life stuff, yeah. you know? So that was what we were seeing. That's what we were feeling. Us being away from our parents at that time, too. Yeah. It was like this layer of concern that was just like over our heads, you know? So, I, yeah, it felt necessary. We didn't want it to be so try hard or like, mm-hmm. as, like some Justice Warrior type, you know? Yeah, just trying yeah, to yeah. like come out and we no, wanted to be as honest as possible with it. If you guys haven't heard of the song, they have a song called Viral. It came out last year, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And so yeah. this was, it's the funny thing is like this whole, you know, Asian hate thing. It's really po- been popular the last it's two months. It's gotten way worse. It's gotten yeah. worse. Yeah. And it had to get worse for people to even notice because we already saw it like a year ago. Right. Yeah. You know, like a lot of my non-Asian friends, they're like, oh, like, how come I have never seen this? And we're like, this has been going on for a whole year. Yeah, for sure, man. You yeah. know what I mean? Another, like, sad fact, it's so ironic, is uh, exactly 365 days later after we released that song, mm-hmm. a year later, exactly on the date, was the Atlanta shooting. So while we were celebrating the annual, we're like, damn, we, we released this last year with the hopes and just like, you know, we weren't expecting, okay, this song's going to stop everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was definitely spark a conversation, awareness. And, you know, we were hoping that it would slow down, but to know definitely that. Definitely didn't think it would get worse. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but but, but, but you know what? Like, I, I know you guys see it like that, but how I see it, because it got, it went viral mm. again a year later, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think... That's important because when you see it and when you hear this stuff happening, yeah. and you YouTube and Google it, mm-hmm. there's already a song there. There's sure. already right, someone right. speaking about it, and it's like, this isn't, this isn't brand new. Right. Right, right, this right, has right. been happening, and this is what we're telling you. Yeah. Why weren't you listening to us a year ago? That's true. Right. That's, That's a good way right. to look at it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the fact that it is a year old and they see, you know, they see the release date, mm-hmm. that in itself becomes a statement, you know, yep, outside exactly. of the song, for that, sure. That's how I saw it. Because yeah. a friend sent that to me, um, a non-Asian person. He was mm-hmm. like, oh, have you heard this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, those are my boys. Yeah. And I'm like... It also shows that we're not just jumping on it just because this whole Asian yeah. hate thing is so, right. like, I mean, you the know, there was now, finally. Yeah. There were times when we're like... Uh, you know, especially after that year mark, Mm -hmm. we're like, is what we're doing helping? You know, there was that moment of doubt and just kind of like sadness, you know? We're like, damn. There was even a time where we were like, all right, let's not even talk about that right now. Let's not even address it. Because like maybe 
the like uh, the sudden spotlight uh-huh. on yeah. this could be fueling more attacks. You know what I mean? I, I've, I've, I've thought about that. You know a what lot. I'm saying? I've like, thought about that a lot because then it's like you, you're saying it, and right. then it's even you know, well, it's happening. So yeah, it's yeah. not you know. I know I totally get that. And you know, it's like there was a lot of things that we didn't want to exploit the situation. And right. kind of distorted into something that was bigger than it is or smaller right. than it is. Mm. We just wanted to talk about how we felt about it and how we saw and what we hope for, you know? Yeah. But, you know, th- th- people get attacked all, you, every day, you all know, races. You know what's funny? It's that self-awareness of, like, what is it? It's, like, it's kind of how I felt about this whole event thing, actually. Yeah. Like, me being Asian-American, working at this company, I'm, like, I see this stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. I'm on this feed, like... Am I being too like what? It, like I want to do something, but like, right? What can I, like? Do you know what I mean? Sure. Like, what 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 is it going to affect? Like, how can I? You know, I actually had a talk, and it's like, you, even though you hear it and see it all the time, and and you might like, you know, a lot of people don't, mm. and, and and the right. voice matters. You For know what sure. I mean? And so like, even sometimes where we feel like, oh, we're preaching, and maybe our friends keep hearing it or whatnot, but right. there's a lot of people that aren't listening that will finally listen later, right. I think. Yeah. You man. know, and I think that's kind of like our almost responsibility right. for to sure. kind of do it. I don't, I don't doubt for one bit, like, that was, it was, we had to do that. Yeah. You know, we had to do that, number one, outside of everything. It's like, we had to break that stereotype that we would just stay silent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, just based on that point alone, yeah. we had to say something. You know, because that's the first step. Yeah. The the other thing, too, was, like, for me, I, like, was, like, well, like, what is this going to do because, you know, non, non-Asian non people aren't going to listen or want to care about this mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. right? But then I thought about it and was, like, it, it's about, like, the younger Asian kids, too. Yeah, 100%. That, like, hear your songs and are, like, exactly. yo, I needed this. Like, I needed this. Yeah. You know, it's not for anyone else to really listen and be, like, oh, this is happening, like, blah, blah, blah. It's, like the young Asian kids who do look up to you guys who maybe never heard of you guys and found you guys. And it's like, oh, okay, these guys are speaking. This is, these guys are like speaking, like articulating how I'm feeling. Right. You know what the I mean? The good thing about it is that I'm seeing is, is the younger generation. I feel like they're just um, like, it's just built into them that they're not as yeah like, you know I mean? They have more yeah. of a vibe where they, they did, they weren't, grown up just hearing that all the time either yeah yeah, yeah, right? yeah so i mean hopefully from now it just gets better and better but i, I feel like it's gotten better and even yeah. though it looks worse right now it's more just because like people are speaking up yeah and we're like hey I feel like, like it's our generation that's mm-hmm. kind of really uh, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah i mean always one thing we need to be like always aware of is when we try to you know add commentary to a situation or a tragedy or something that's going on like us as content creators as artists we have to remind ourselves to always respect like the vic- like the people that are going through this. You know what I mean? That are actually being attacked. Yeah. That are you know like I personally haven't been kicked in the face out of the blue. You know. Yeah. But there are people that are, but, like we don't want to make we want to make sure we don't dress it up so much and yeah. we lose the authenticity. I, I, I talk know? I talk about this often too yeah. because I'm like, you know, I I was saying earlier like I grew up in a predominantly Asian neighborhood, mm-hmm. Mexicans and Asians, and I just never. Even, like, when a Mexican person would say something wild to me, yeah. I didn't feel, it didn't feel like, you know, and, mm-hmm. until, like, it happened in college. Yeah. Right. Where, like, someone said something, and I was like, oh, that they meant that. For right, sure. Right, you know right, what right, I mean? Right, right. And so, for me, I was always like, oh, like, this this doesn't bug me, the the, the C word, the I, blah, blah. It doesn't bug mm-hmm. me, but it bugs other people. Yeah. It bu- and then for that, it, that, that's, that just matters. Yeah. Right? And it's hard. It's like, as human beings, we have to, like you said, put, pe- put ourselves in other people's shoes mm-hmm. and, like... Just be empathetic for it, you know, and, yeah. and 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 that's going into like, you know, that what one, one of your verses I think in the viral song where you were talking about the whole nine eleven thing. Yeah, mm. that I was had, crazy. I had to start off that whole song with a reflection of myself, bro. You know, I didn't want to start off the song by saying, "Yo, why you guys are stupid that all you think all Asians are for, are to blame for the situation." Yeah. The first thing I had to say was, "I too made that mistake." Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and it's human. And I think that. It was an entry fee. It, like, that's, that's the way that I infiltrated. I want people to hear that and be like, okay, at least this guy, you know, he sees it in himself first. Okay, then he has two minutes of my time to, like, hear what, yeah, what he yeah, has yeah. to say, you know? Because that is true. We don't right. think about that. Like, I, I didn't grow up around any Middle Eastern people or anybody yeah. like mm-hmm. that was Muslim. And so I never even thought about that. Yeah. You know? And so, like, for me, it's like... I, I wanted yeah. it to be not just... Uh, you know, I, I don't want it to be such, like, a pick-side situation. In that song especially, too, I said, 
we have to understand that there's racism that even like you know store owners will show other communities you know what i mean like and you, you see like the nail shop fights you see all yep. these things too yep. we can't turn a blind eye and talk about one side or even in china or like all the things that are happening over there like yep. We have to look at everything and say, dude, we all have this flaw. You know what I mean? We yeah, all yeah, have this yeah, shortcoming. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, please, let's stop. Stop hitting my grandma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. it is. That's the, that's the wild part. And like, I think yeah. people don't get it either. It's like. Yeah, people tell- people take that. Sorry, I'm not to cut you yeah, off. No, no, okay. People took that one line and they were like, yo, he's Islamophobic. He's racist. He's like, you know, I think of that Jay Z. Really? Yeah, I think of that Jay Z line where he's like, "Do you listen to the music or you skim through it?" You know what I mean? Because uh, they're not really getting the whole chunk of what I'm trying to wait, say. Really? Ser- yeah, like the I did a Twitch stream uh, show recently, and on the chat, like, there's a whole like sub, not a subreddit, but there was like a comment section where they're like, uh, you know, he's a racist. Take this guy off stage, blah blah blah. But you know that happens because. Some of these people, English might not be their first language, mm. you know, they might be younger. So I, I take everything with a grain of salt, but it's it's easier to not talk about stuff and just rap about whatever. Yeah. But, you know, we we want to be in the front line and talk about this shit because people need to know. Like, those are know? real feelings. Yeah, these are That's real That's a lot of people, too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Wow. Um, now to kind of, this, that got really deep, <laughs> you know, and I don't know how to switch it to a really lighthearted subject because this next subject is really lighthearted. I got it. But um, I think that's actually, that's the funny thing about you guys, right? You guys do these like really deep, like powerful, like rap, rap songs and stuff, right? But then you guys have like, and I don't know anyone else who can do this. You guys rap about Korean food and make it sound so fucking dope. Like I said, we rap about right? what we know. And know? it's like, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. how do you, how do you do that? And I think like, yeah, they, they, they I, I, you guys got to listen to their stuff. They're, <laughs> it's amazing. But like, can you guys school me on some, like growing up in, in Virginia, you know, North, the beach, you know, <laughs> Easy. and like, tell me, tell me about the food situation, like how you guys, <clears throat> like, was there a lot of Korean food there? How did, from home or outside? Like, so from my, me. in my area, I'm, um. Three hours south of where he's from. He's, mm-hmm. he's kind of closer to D.C., and I'm right on the border of North Carolina. So there's not that many Asians down there. There's a, mm. there's a huge Filipino community yeah. yep. because the, the North Fork Naval Base right there is, like, the biggest naval yeah, base, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, on the East Coast. But, um, I mean, it's, it's a very very much a military town. Mm. My parents own clothing stores, so I would be there a lot. And, you know, I, I would listen to the music on the radio, and that's how I kind of got into the hip-hop. Um, genre itself just in the beginning but yeah I mean it, it's it's very much a beach town military town down there and, and not too many Koreans there's like there's like one Korean church that we all <laughs> went course. to you know there's one like one Korean karbichi like like that's about it like barbecue place Virginia top three Korean f- food in America yeah, I wish I didn't stutter while I said that. What are you trying to say? It, like, it, like, it lost the strength. <laughs> Can I try one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do one more time. Top three. <laughs> so where he's from. So where Northern he's Virginia, from. Northern top Virginia. Top three Korean foods in Los Angeles. I, I think it's like a top five community of Koreans. Is, really? Is in, yeah. It's, it's oh, pretty fast. slept Great. on. But yeah, yeah it's up there. You know there. why, though? It's because we're near D.C., so there's a lot of diplomats that come through. Oh, yeah. You know? And there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of Korean people that come through, so... There's a huge Korean community in Virginia. There's a huge Vietnamese community. In I will say the pho, yeah. The pho yeah. is pho. top notch. So, Virginia. back to your question when it comes to the foods in Virginia, bro. Korean barbecue in Virginia. Mm. Honey pig, wega chip. Wega chip is the first place that I saw a stone grill. Mm. I slanted at a 15.7 degree like this. So, the oils would just drip in into the little bowl. Yeah. I get crazy with that oil after the meal, bro. We won't even talk about that. But, wega chip. Honey pig, kulteji. That's, you know, there's a honey pig yeah. here, but not the Virginia honey pig, bro. The bean sprouts with the kimchi it's where they different. mix it at Is the that joint. Different? Bro, I'll show you. I'll show you. We'll go. And the pho. I'm not, you know, Westminster, of course. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, when yeah. You, I don't want to. Los Angeles pho. It's good. You got to go to San Gabriel Virginia Valley. Pho. You can't go to LA. There's no good food. In- that just sounds so far. Like San Gabriel, the, Val- the, the San Gabriel Valley. Gabriel- <laughs> that's I don't a lot know, of syllables. Man. It's a lot of syllables. I'm just, that's, that's, the, that's the good that's spot. That's where it, that's yeah. Where it is. Uh, yeah, the Chinese food. I definitely want to go. I yeah. definitely want to go. I live in K-Town, and it's hard to get good Chinese food and Vietnamese food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, Yeah. okay, that's true. Yeah. That's so like, Young King's not, you that's know, it's dope. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, like, same thing here. When I lived in New York, the Chinese food is so good. 
that like it's uncomparable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, it's just not like Chinese people don't like to stay in the city. Have you ever been to Virginia? I have, yeah. Pe- nice, uh, right? I've, I've been to the Peking Duck spot. Oh yeah, come on, yeah. Oriental Regency, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, place yeah. that place is yeah, good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I've been, I've been to Virginia. I like Virginia. I don't think I've ever had like a. I like going to places and having like a fixer, like mm. someone who like is a local and yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. just. Take, so when I went there, I was like a like a tourist pretty much. Gotcha. Right, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. Gotcha. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm so happy you guys were here. I'm so happy you guys. Thank like, you for having us, man. Thank you so much for like, just thank you guys Thanks for showing up. Thanks for thinking up. of us. Appreciate, yeah, man, appreciate for that. sure, man. No, man, it's sure. a great I'm time. like legit fans, and everyone I brought on the, sh- the show for today, I'm just like fans of, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so like, yeah. I just appreciate you guys. I appreciate what you guys do. Appreciate and you, man. Yeah. It was Pop a wonderful shop. time. Pop That's shop, baby. Go cop the shirt. Cop the shirt. right there. You're the ox. You're the ox. And uh, we're out. Yaks, baby. New music coming soon.